We're five days away from the start of early voting in the Texas primary runoff and special elections. For Democrats, there is a big race at the top of the ticket, U.S. Senate. Tonight, we're taking a look at one of the two candidates battling it out for your vote, M.J. Hagar. Here's political anchor Ashley Godot. In 2018, this is a story about doors. M.J. Hagar became a household name thanks to a viral campaign ad that garnered national attention. We felt like it was important to show the whole story because the things that have happened to me or that I've done or whatever um, throughout my whole life have really framed and shaped who I am. The former Air Force pilot's story, witnessing domestic abuse, being shot down in Afghanistan, suing the Pentagon over a woman's ability to serve in certain military roles, launched her campaign for the U.S. House of Representatives against longtime incumbent Republican John Carter. The seat, once thought of as an easy win for Carter, was nearly lost. Hagar came within three points of defeating the former judge. Now for the 2020 election, to John Cornyn, because I know you're watching, I'm here to say, pack it up, Buttercup, because I'm coming for your seat and I'm going to take it back for the people of Texas. The Purple Heart recipient has her sights set on the U.S. Senate. As somebody who has flown, you know, water missions to suppress wildfires, it's kind of in my nature to find the biggest bucket of water I can find and put out the biggest fire that I can find. I believe that I'm in a position to unseat John Cornyn, who is one of our U.S. senators, and that he is absolutely really bad for Texas and not working for Texan families. But this time around, the road to November isn't as smooth. Hagar faced 11 opponents in the March primary and fell short of securing 50% of the vote, the amount needed to face U.S. Senator John Cornyn in the fall. So this July, she's battling it out with State Senator Royce West in the Democratic primary runoff. You know, I don't think that it's about progressive versus moderate. I think it's about being able to deliver bold ideas in a pragmatic way that shows people how we are going to help them keep food on the table and a roof over their head without having to work 60 or 70 hour a week. That's how we're going to win. Hagar or West, a decision that will soon be in the hands of Texas Democratic voters. You need to go to bed. Tomorrow on KVU News at 6, we take a look at State Senator Royce West and his run for the U.S. Senate. Then Monday at 6.30 p.m., we hope you'll join us for the KVU U.S. Senate Democratic primary runoff debate. Hagar and West going head-to-head -head on the issues that are important to you. And you can watch it live right here on KVU Monday at 6.30.